Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today I wanna to talk about a $100 Rogue Barbell. Yes, you heard me right, $100 for a Rogue Barbell. Now this is called a Rogue Grab Bag Barbell. This particular one you see in front of you is an Ohio Power Bar version of that. And I'm gonna to try to give you a little bit of context to my knowledge of what a grab bag barbell is. This is something that Rogue started releasing a couple of months ago sporadically. They would release a very limited supply of certain types of barbells. I think it was like a Bella bar, an Ohio bar, and an Ohio power bar. And when I say limited quantities, I honestly think it was like four or five bars, maybe tops at a time. And they would do this every week or so or every five days really depending on what you see you had to be quick and it was hard to track because again the quantity was so limited that as soon as they came in stock they were sold out within five minutes and i can attest to this being an issue because it took me probably four or five times to actually check out successfully with this in my cart i can't tell you how many times i had it in my cart i thought i was good to go click that payment button and then it told me that my cart has been updated and items have been removed because they're out of stock and speaking to a lot of you guys out there too you have felt my pain being there as well so these are really hard bars to get your hands on and for good reason it's a rogue quality bar at a hundred dollars but again the interesting thing is here is when they were first released and even when they were kind of marketed by rogue they were marketed as used barbells and in my experience outside of maybe the first couple early releases most of these have come in like new or new condition. So I don't understand why that would be part of their marketing saying, hey, you're gonna get a used bar. I initially thought when I saw this that it would mean that, hey, these are bars that are used in the Rogue facility for training purposes, maybe for marketing, video shoots, whatever, maybe from the games even that they just had laying around, they're gonna get rid of them, clear them out. But they kept releasing them and they kept getting better and better because not only were these of a three variants of the Bella, Ohio, and Ohio Power Bar, but variants in terms of what you get, hence the term grab bag. You could get a bare steel bar, a stainless steel bar, a black zinc bar, a Cerakote bar, chrome bar, who knows? You could get literally anything in terms of the shaft and the combination of sleeves as well. You might have got a Cerakote shaft with stainless steel sleeves or you might have gotten one of their customized bars for someone that ended up not coming out right and they just had to get rid of it because it had a misspelling on it or something like that who knows these bars that i've seen have all been in really really good shape which brings another very interesting point up is if these bars are in such good shape why are they only selling them for a hundred dollars even though true i see a point of if it's not a normally offered combination and it's not the same bar that you would normally get at full price. But my bars and the bars I've seen from people outside on the internet land posting pictures of what they got from the grab bag seem to be in much better cosmetic shape than what you would get from the boneyard. And I've had really good luck in the boneyard where we have a scratch on the shaft or a little bit of sloppy neural. Nothing really major past that. And those are at a slight discount from new, like $100 off maybe versus a $100 barbell with no imperfections whatsoever. I really can't wrap my mind around it. And to add even further to the confusion, this bar ships with blank end caps. And that got my curiosity interested. So what did I do? I got my snap ring pliers, took off the end caps, flipped them around, boneyard end caps. Hmm, even more interesting. Now I have had blank end caps before on a boneyard bar that I've got, my squat bar from Rogue that had blank end caps. Flipped those bad boys around and those had like Rogue weightlifting bar end caps on it. I can't explain it, I don't understand it, but all I know is I got a fantastic bar right here, which appears to be a black zinc 20 kg Ohio Power Bar with bright zinc sleeves, which normally retails for $325 before shipping and tax for $100 before shipping and tax. And I've owned this exact same bar before and I liked it a lot. So to get this at a third of the price for normal is a great success. Now, it could be that maybe this is an e-coat variant. Uh, I don't really know. I asked around to people who have e-coat and black zinc to tell if they could really see what the difference is between the two and no one really could. It's not like the difference between bare steel and maybe stainless steel where you could use a vinegar or magnet test depending on the quality of steel used there. So to my knowledge, this is a black zinc shaft with bright zinc sleeves for $100 and no visible imperfections whatsoever. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I think most people who got grab bag bars were, especially if they got the stainless steel versions of the bars that were out there that many of you did. I'm jealous. 
but I ain't mad at you. But I just don't see Rogue continuing this trend. In fact, I haven't seen them offer a grab bag bar in a couple of months now. And I think part of that is because they realize that they could be selling these for a lot more money, which Rogue has been known to do in general, sell things for a lot more money, at least according to the comment sections on all the reviews of Rogue stuff I do. So that's a grab bag barbell. If you were lucky enough to grab one, then consider yourself lucky. That is pretty redundant, but that's the point of most of my videos, isn't it? Uh, but if you see these again and have the opportunity to get one, definitely jump on it and buy it. Or if you're buying a used barbell online from somebody and you notice that it has blank end caps and they tell you it's a rogue Ohio power bar and they're selling it for $500, just in the back of your mind, think to yourself that that might be a grab bag bar they got for a hundred bucks. So Hope that you found that interesting. If you were lucky enough to get one, let me know what you got in the comments section below. Or if you have an idea of what this bar might be in front of me, leave that too. I like interacting with y'all. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.